as grade school children, Oklahomans are taught the lyrics to the state song, Oklahoma. And there's a line in that song that states, we know we belong to the land, and the land we belong to is grand. So it's ingrained in us, it's part of our culture, that we take care of the land that we live on. When Rodgers and Hammerstein wrote the title song for the 1940s Broadway musical, Oklahoma, little did they know they were capturing a sentiment that would guide the employees at Trails End Farm some 60 years later. Trails End Farm uh, is in northwestern Kingfisher County, Oklahoma. Uh, we have about 10,500 sows. It's a farrow to wean farm where we send all of the wean pigs to Iowa for contract finishing. Uh, Trails End Farm is located basically in the most remote corner of Kingfisher County. We're roughly at least two miles from the nearest neighbor. The site was located because of that isolation. We have basically 560 acres here that the site sits on. The land here is uh, rolling sand hills, uh, very sandy soils. It was primarily pasture before we built the farm here. We've put two pivots on it. That's how we spread our effluent. When we built the Trails End site, we tried to make sure that we disturbed as little as possible of the surroundings to build the site. Other than what we put up for the pivots and the site itself, we left untouched. Also, we left the trees and the natural flora intact. Trails in commitment to preserving the land while producing some 250,000 wean pigs per year starts by taking care of the star of the show. We specialize in raising baby pigs, and so that's our, that's our product. And so uh, the comfort of the sow and the well-being of the little pigs is, is utmost to what we do, making sure that the sow is comfortable has everything that she needs, we will make sure that she raises good, a good litter. Trails in Farm ensures all its employees put animal well-being at the forefront of their daily activities. Doing so not only allows the animals to produce to their highest ability, but as this farm knows, it's simply the right thing to do. We are site assessed. All of our employees are PQA Plus certified. We do animal well-being training that we have instituted a program for. We just want to make sure that they're up to date on what it takes to make sure that we're putting out a wholesome product. When it comes to manure management, the farm uses 18-inch pits under all gestation and farrowing buildings. A rigorous program of cleaning and power washing keeps dust down and ensures all manure is washed into the pits, which are periodically emptied into two outdoor holding basins. To protect the land that Oklahomans find so grand, Trails End also takes some extra precautions. The natural soil that we have here is very porous, and uh, there's not enough clay in, in this particular soil uh, to prevent leaching from the lagoon into, uh, into the soil. And so what we have to do is put down uh, this polyethylene liner. It's, it's called a high-density polyethylene liner. It's 30 mils thick. If you're just looking at it on the surface, it looks like a black trash bag. It's much, much thicker than that. It's welded, certified by engineers to be uh, free of hydrologic connection between the fluid in the lagoon and the groundwater. As a further safeguard, Trails End installed groundwater monitoring wells both upstream and downstream from the lagoons. Liquid effluent from lagoons is spread on cover crops using irrigation pivots at agronomic rates. Not only do the cover crops provide uptake for nutrients in the effluent, they are important to Trails End soil conservation efforts. We employ the water cycle, the nitrogen cycle, and the various nutrient cycles that nature itself has. We take advantage of that and actually make the land more productive than it would be in a natural setting. When it comes to community outreach, Trails End is a good neighbor and a great ambassador for the pork industry. The farm, part of Robert's Ranch, 
provides pork for the Red Dirt Barbecue Cook-Off and Enid, and contributes 50 to 60 hogs per year to various other local charitable causes. The pounds of, of beef and pork that are produced, the amount of forage that is produced, is much more than what would occur naturally. And we're actually using a very beautiful system of recycling the material that we actually use in our production. It's a very natural process. We only have a limited amount of land. And, uh, you know, a lot of people believe, and in this community, uh, believe that we have to take care of the land for the next generation. And we truly believe that. That's our goal is to make sure that we maintain everything here, the land, the facilities, everything.